people, this is your boy Tulchi and this is YBE TV. Today I want to talk to you guys about load confirmation sheets. I definitely want to talk to you guys about that. Before I do, I want to say go to YBETV.org, go to ask, tune, and send me questions and I ask them, answer them as soon as I possibly can. Last but not least, go to YBETV.org slash shop. You can pick up the business credit course, the business marketing course, the um the 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 setup where we set the business up for you we got t-shirt bundles we got the mentorship program we got all these great things that you can do and you can come over and support the brand and we're definitely hiring at ybe transportation go to ybetransportation.com and fill out an application we just want two years experience a clean deck and a positive attitude if you could come over here with that you're gonna make some money Last drive was making about $1,700 a week. That was his average, and I can't lie to you, and the truth is in me. You already know. Now, I want to talk to you about low confirmation sheets. Now, this one is near and dear to my heart, so I'm going to take off my glasses. All right. Um, if a company is not giving you the low confirmation sheet, I feel like they got something to hide, and they're, uh, they're most likely cheating you. Uh, I didn't worked with plenty of companies and it's been situations where I was working with a company. I'm not going to say the name of the company because it was one time and one time only this happened. And, you know, like I'm not going to drag their name through the mud because it happened once. Uh, it was a low. It was lows where when you go to these places, they actually show what they pay in the company for the low. And one time they said that they was paying paying us like nineteen hundred bucks. It was like, okay, well, you guys get 75% of this 1900 bucks for a short run. It was about a 400-mile run. And we was like, oh, okay, that's cool. But come to find out, the low paid like 2700 bucks because we was able to look on the paperwork. We was like, why did it say $2,700 and they quoted us nineteen? So we called in and said, hey, that's not right. Uh, this this low right here pays this much. And then it was, she, the lady was like, oh, um." Uh, you know what? They sent us the wrong paperwork. They must have uh, updated it. You know what? We're going to correct it right now. We're going to send a load assignment again. And I was like, mm, okay. So that was just kind of a red flag. So what I'm going to say is this. Low confirmation sheets is very important. It is very, very important that a person can send you something. Now, I'm not talking about a low confirmation sheet that's from Red Jacket Trucking that says red jack and truck and confirmation sheet no it should say where this load come from like if you got a Velveeta load or whatnot and they sent the broker send you over the Velveeta work the uh the confirmation sheet you should see the Velveeta confirmation sheet it should come from Velveeta or whatever you know like that's one of the biggest things and I think that that's one of the dirtiest tricks in the game and I think that Whoever is in, in in charge of the rules that they put out in the industry of trucking, they definitely don't have the drive in mind because if you're paying percentage, I think that that should be a law, that you should automatically send the person the low confirmation sheet. You should not be able to hide paperwork because a lot of these places, what they're doing is they'll say a low pays 1500 bucks, but it pays 2000 so they'll take five hundred off the top, and then they'll give you a percentage of the fifteen hundred dollars, which is totally unfair. So, why is it that they are able to do this? Is because they don't have to send out the actual old confirmation sheet. And what type of bid? Like we're like when you sign on to a company, you become their partner. You don't. You do not work for them. You're partners. You know. You can stop working with them. They can choose to stop working with you. So why is it that they take all the power away from the owner operator, which I think is totally unfair. It should it should be like this. It should be law that we go in. We number one, I think that everybody should negotiate certain things. I think that it should be open for negotiation. That when you're going to these trucking companies and you sign an on, it should automatically be some type of negotiation. Maybe. Okay, let's just say even if they look past the negotiation, I think that automatically these low confirmation sheets should be sent out. Because just like they ask you for paperwork to prove certain things, we get absolutely no proof. This load pays $1,000. We got just got to believe you. 
when you can take money off the top and tell us this load pays a thousand dollars when it pays fifteen hundred dollars and then you want another three hundred dollars so you made eight hundred dollars off a load that paid fifteen hundred dollars and give us seven hundred it don't matter that that load is only 300 miles 300 miles we're running it for for no no eight hundred dollars so you're taking seven hundred dollars off the top and then that leaves us with another uh what eight hundred dollars so we make a hundred dollars more than you so i don't think that that's fair so in all actuality i'm definitely one of the biggest believers of low confirmation sheets if you can get them and you can find a company that does it even if they pay a little bit less at least it's two things that you're gonna get from that number one you're gonna know that this company is being honest with you and giving you the numbers number two is you know what these rates are actually looking like so when you do jump off the porch and you go out and you start your own business and you get your own authority you know what to look for what to turn down what to say yes to what the rates look like you actually get more of the art of negotiating when you're able to do this you already know this your boy tunchi this ybtv and if you don't want to end up in a box think outside of it YB.